All good things come to an end. Episode 10 sees the season finale out with a bang. With a lakeside house purchase, turbocharged renovation and finally moving in. Oh, and not to mention a bit of carp fishing along the way. One more look before we say goodbye. Okay, the first of last night's big captures. Clock in the scales are just over 44 pounds. Say goodbye to this incredible and unique creature. Well, this is it. The season finale of All About The Journey. And would you believe it's been 21 months now since we left the UK. And to be honest, the time's just flown by here in the Carp Life for Camp. This dream that me and Claire set out on when we first left the UK was in real serious doubt. And for a while, we wasn't even sure if it was even gonna happen with all that was going on with coronavirus but it has worked out really well. And we've had a fantastic time touring across Europe from living in France and fishing all those big lakes over there and having an absolutely incredible season. And then finally moving up here to Extreme Madura to where we've bought our dream home. Now it's no mansion or no sort of, uh, what can I say, puff daddy pad or anything like that. But for us, it's just perfect. We're 150 meters away from the lake. We've got plenty of room for all our fishing gear, a couple of acres of land, three bedrooms, and we are living totally off grid. What more could you want? And all for the price of a studio flat back in the UK. Would you believe it? In the last episode, you see us take a look at this house and it was in a pretty bad state, to be honest. The electrics were just awful. The plumbing didn't work. The best thing about it was there was no cracks or movement in the structure and the solar system did work. So yeah, they were the bonuses, but we managed to see through all the shit. And yeah, with a lot of hard work from myself, Claire, Jamal, and our local friends, we've managed to push through and get it done in about two weeks time. And to be honest, the transformation has been incredible. Now in this time, I've had to learn a lot of new skills, stuff I knew nothing about because I spent 23 years in the uh, automotive trade. But yeah, I had to learn how to do electrics because they were absolutely horrendous here. I had to learn how to do plumbing and painting and decorating. And yeah, it's all worked out really, really well. A lot of the electric fixtures and fittings here were actually all from the 50s and 60s and the wiring was just a complete mess. So we decided we was gonna change all the features and all the light fittings uh, for all modern stuff and at the same time we could go through it all and check it out and yeah like I said I learned a lot of new skills along the way also we had no water pressure here when we first moved in so we had to install a water pump and put a couple of extra taps outside for washing down the boats and cooking up the bait which was all great fun since arriving here in Extreme Madura, we've been very very lucky to build a great network of friends and yeah everybody came round and mucked in to help out with the renovation of this house. We had Raul on the paint brushes, we had Edwin helping us out with the electrics and yeah we had uh, Case from another Dutch guy come and help us out with odd jobs and some of the metal work and stuff. So yeah, it was a real, real team effort. And I'll tell you now, we couldn't be more pleased. It literally feels like a dream come true. And from the smile on my face, I'm pretty sure you can tell I couldn't be happier. Recently, we've had a couple of friends out here on business and one of them being the one and only Lewis Porter from Corda. Now me and Lewis have been great friends since his time at Nash and yeah, we stay in contact. You know, we chat to each other on the phone pretty much every week, but due to the pandemic and me gallivanting around Europe, we haven't actually physically seen each other for over two years. So it was really, really nice to catch up with him for a beer and just really to chew the fat over what's been going on in our lives over the last few years. And yeah, and to give each other a great big hug. How you been? Oh, give a hug, you. Yeah. yeah, been good, mate. It's been so long. Good look at it. I can't believe you're in my backyard, mate. Check that out. Mega place, eh? I've only seen a part of it. <laughs> well, mate, it's 37 kilometers long. So there's a lot to see yet, and I'm sure Edwin's going to give you a grand tour, mate. Yeah, mate. It'll be good. Looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Let's go grab a beer. 
Sweet. Cheers, Samir. Yes, mate. Santé. Oh, salut. Cheers, boys. Salut. Salut. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Yeah. Let's not leave it as long next time, and yeah. I'm definitely, definitely coming to visit you very, very soon. <laughs> Take care. Okay, hopefully catch up in a week, G. Bye-bye. I absolutely love Lewis, and it was a great moment just to chill out with him and drink a few beers, and yeah, just catch up at old times. On the fishing front, things have been pretty tough. Now the summers out here have been absolutely brutal, and we had 40 degree plus temperatures relentlessly for three months, which was just horrible. Coming from England where a heat wave is about 28 degrees, it was a real, real shock and took some getting used to. But as we got to the end of the summer, me and Claire felt like we'd really acclimatised to the uh, temperatures out here and I did manage to venture out to film a nice little trip down on our local river where I managed to catch a really sick big linear that was just shy of 50 pounds and a few other fish. But I can tell you now, this trip was really, really tough. Now, three weeks ago in September, the temperatures did start to dip and we had a nice days of around 30 to 35 degrees. So I took that opportunity to go fishing and yeah, to be honest, I didn't venture very far from my home. Now there's a restaurant just around the corner from my house and yeah, they sell great food and it's really, really cheap. Like all three of us can eat for like 35 euros, which is pretty much nothing to be honest. And while we're sitting there having something to eat, I did notice a few fish jumping. So uh, literally after we finished our food, we went out in the boat and uh, we went around there and we dumped a couple of buckets of particle just where I'd seen the fish jump with the intention of coming back in a few days time after I completed a little bit of videography work. Anyway, I'm not gonna give too much away now and we're just gonna jump straight into the video of that session. Just trying to get some cards formatted and backed up before I go fishing. As um, everything's a little bit carnage and there were just literally cards hiding everywhere but hopefully Claire is knocking me up a bit of breakfast before I head out hey dogs you hey, want to die <laughs> have a little skank out in the kitchen you Claire I'm a fly guy where we got the stereo Where's my breakfast at then? Like beans. Oh yeah. Right, I'm gonna finish getting my stuff sorted out then, darling. Because I'm itching to go fishing. Yeah, I'm super, super excited to be getting out. Just sitting behind that computer for weeks on end really can get you down sometimes. Uh, but it's all part of my job and I wouldn't change it for the world. But yeah. It's time to go catch some carp now, as it is autumn and the best time of year. So I'm going to get all my kit and my dog, and let's get out of here. Hey you! It's been a while, isn't it, since we've been fishing together? Hey Mila? Hey? Come on in. Should we go catch some big carp? Yeah, that's a yes. Looks really good, the conditions, to be honest. Got a nice breeze blowing in. Baited some spots out in front of here last Thursday. I'm hoping the carp are going to be waiting for me. I don't have much time on this session, so just a few nights. Hopefully, Claire's coming to join me tomorrow night. But yeah, it feels great to be out. It looks really, really good. Literally, I'm up to four shows now. I'm feeling so confident at the minute. In fact, I'm feeling that confident. I don't know why I'm just standing here. I'm gonna go get some rods out.
since arriving in this swim, it's looking really, really good.